My friend, uh, Mr. Roy of Texas, who's by far the most articulate and able defender of this doctrine, concedes that I'm right about the Constitution, but shifts over to talk about the Declaration of Independence, which I cheerfully concede is a revolutionary document and which explained why, after a long train of abuses and usurpations by the Crown and Parliament, we needed to dissolve the political bands of union with England. But that's the whole point. We are governed by the Constitution, which is positive law, and nowhere does it grant a right of insurrection. It opposes it at every turn. As a matter not of constitutional law, but natural law, people can decide to overthrow their government, but you do that on your own time, at your own risk. The Constitution does not give you the right to destroy the Constitution and the government. And another way to understand this point is to think about nonviolent civil disobedience. Even nonviolent civil disobedience is not protected by our Constitution. Dr. King and SNCC, those people went to jail because they believed in civil rights and were willing to pay the cost. They never claimed that the Constitution gives people the right to break the law, much less take up arms against the government. So the facts are very clear. The Second Amendment does not give you the right to engage in insurrection. They should stop saying that. And Justice Scalia was extremely clear in the Heller decision that, that the Second Amendment does not give an unlimited right to carry whatever guns you Madam want, Chair, wherever Madam you want. Chair. I yield back to you, Madam Chair. The gentleman's time has